Uh, over the past few years, I've seen quite a few people use digital cameras to copy microfilm images from the readers. Now, this can save you a lot of time and actually give you better quality and a lot cheaper to do it this way. First thing you need to remember is uh, you got to know how to turn off your flash. And it also helps if you can set the timer so it doesn't go off immediately. You get a chance to steady the camera that way. Now here's an image I took with a tripod. That's okay, but the top and bottom is a little on the blurry side. That's because of the angle. Now actually a tripod works wonderful with uh, microfish readers or even the microfilm copiers on their screens. It's flat, everything's in focus, so you might want to at least carry a tripod with you when you go to your libraries. Now here's a little holder I bought. I'll put a link to it if, I, if the site's still around. A little better with the perspective, but uh, still has a few things I don't like about it. It uh, shoots everything uh, vertically. Perspective is a little bit off, but not bad. Now here I've taken a picture, uh, just resting the camera near the top center of the uh, microfilm reader. Did a pretty good job. But you'll notice uh, there's a sweet spot here. It's kind of in the center where the light's the brightest. Everything will focus there a little better than out here on the corners. But my friend came up with a wonderful idea. She actually rests her camera up near the lens, keeps the perspective correct, and she was getting very good results. And this picture's a little blurry, but you can tell she only used half the image and tried to place that in the center. So I'm going to try to go through and show you how to maybe touch up these images for archiving or printing. Okay, let's get into editing your digital photos. Uh, here I've got uh, the tripod pictures I took. And uh, usually start out by cropping. You know, one thing you'll notice when using a digital camera, you get what's called a barrel effect. That's where the outside edges are rounded. Most people this won't be a problem, but I'll show you another program that can handle that. So let's click Apply. Now straightening you're going to see the problem with the perspective tool. Okay, that's pretty straight up and down. But you'll notice over here on the right, the bottom's quite a bit farther out than the top. Uh, nothing we can do in this program, but uh, it's not going to be a problem for most people. Okay, let's uh, touch this up a bit. We're going to first go into tuning. This uh, neutral color picker is going to actually help quite a bit. You can see by the histogram the colors are all over the place. So we're going to find a neutral color. So find about the lightest spot you got. And that's a pretty good image right there. If you want, you can play with these sliders over here. Highlights is to blow out the light spots. Shadows darken the edges. So the fill light is what you're going to mostly want to use. And when you get that to about what you want, come over here to Effects and hit Black and White. And we can always come back in here and do a little editing. Uh, not the best, but uh, it is a quick, easy fix. Okay, the uh, copy machine. 
pretty much the same. We'll first want to start with straightening. Then we'll crop it. And actually crop it like we would uh, if we was making a copy. And this works exactly the same with uh, microfish. Nice thing about Picasso, it doesn't uh, affect your original. In fact, if you save it, it even saves a copy of the original. And that's one reason I really like it. It's pretty good there. Let's try grayscale first. And we'll play with these fill light. And that's, that's not too bad. If you've seen my past videos, I'm kind of a GIMP lover, and it gives you a lot more control. So let's maybe try GIMP. Here I've got uh, several pictures. I tried different uh, settings on my camera. Uh, I found the auto was just as good as any other. So I'm going to come down here to locate on disk. Okay, now we're going to right click, edit with GIMP. It's a little slow on the loading. <laughs> 